the thought of my heart this morning because I think so many people might believe in God, but they don't. Uh, they don't know that there's only one way. There's not many ways. There's only one way. Yeah. Hello, my dear friends. Greetings to you all in the mighty name of our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is um, Kumar along with one of my beloved friend and uh, uh, like your family member, like. Uh, Sister uh, uh, Chandra, <laughs> it, it had, uh, had, it looks like uh, an Indian sound, yeah. and uh, and she loves India. Uh, so she is our uh, one of our special guests today. Uh, so by God's grace, we have his time uh, yeah. today. Uh, to meet each other and uh, and uh, she she keeps very busy in family and uh, uh, she always um, in our prayers she keeps praise for us and I often uh, ask her to speak but due to uh, lacking of time to take care of her mother and elders uh, family uh, she the Lord has helped her to speak today. And I yes. am so happy to see her right, right now and wanted to introduce her to you all. She's a very beloved woman of God and uh, she's a very loving woman of God. And uh, uh, hi, Chandra. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> uh, will, you, will you please greet our friends? Yes. Hello. Greetings in the name of Jesus. Blessings. I'm excited this morning. Kumar has been inviting me on here for a while, but I have obligations but the holy spirit put it on my heart that it's time to step out in faith so um i'm praying holy spirit will use me to touch hearts today in the name of jesus i'm i'm actually have something that's burning inside of me and i'm excited for this opportunity so thank you so much kumar i appreciate it yeah i agree with you and i i trust god and i trust in your anointing also and uh, please go on and pray for us and uh, uh, share the word of God with our Perfect. people. Let's start with a word of prayer. So, Heavenly Father, we just come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask, Lord God, that you touch every person that hears this message this morning, that we pray for Pastor Kumar and his family. Lord God, we pray that you protect and bless them. We thank you, Lord God, for your goodness and your mercy. We thank you, Lord God, that uh, you're not done with America, that you love your children, that you take care of us, that you're not finished with the India, Lord God. We just call forth. It says, Father, in your word that no man comes to the Father except through the Son unless he be called. So, Lord God, we pray that you call your children, Lord God. Call your children, Father God. Lord God, this is a call to all the children that you want to be in the kingdom of heaven. And we ask, Father God, that you will use us, Lord God, in these last days to bring in the harvest. We ask this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. All right. So, this morning, what's been on my heart is... Uh, John 3 16 is the first verse this morning that I'd like to read and I think everybody knows it if you are familiar with the Bible because it's one of my very favorite verses and uh would you like to read it this morning yeah yeah thank you okay so I thought the last lady did that it looked pretty good <laughs> <laughs> yeah she, she is uh, also a very wonderful woman of God and uh, prophetess yeah. uh, this is the first time for me to meet her and uh and I was God blessed. Has... I was blessed by uh, Barbara this morning, Prophetess Barbara. I thought, what a blessing! Yeah, I like. She she is an anointed woman of God for sure. Thanks for joining in that live broadcast, Sandra. Thank you. <laughs> for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten. Oh, you like the word "only"? <laughs> uh, <laughs> he gave His only begotten Son. Uh, Okay, that whosoever believeth in him should yes. not perish, yes. but have eternal love, Amen. or even lasting life. Amen. Amen. And that's what's on my heart this morning, is that 
that the only way to the father is through the son. I think right now in today's culture, some people believe in God and there's a lot of people that are spiritual and say, oh man, you can get to God this way or that way if you're a good person, if you do this, if you do that. But the truth is it says in God's word that the only way to the father, the only way to true and everlasting life is through Jesus Christ, the son. So Jesus is the only way. It says again in John 3, 36, that whoever believes in the Son, Jesus, has eternal life. Whoever does not obey the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God remains on him. Also in John 10, 9, it says, I am the door. This is Jesus speaking. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved. He or she will be saved. And they will go out and in out of my pasture. So the truth is, is it's Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. And it's a beautiful, beautiful gift. I, uh, I, I compare it to, so with sin in the world, we are all uh, doomed, quite frankly, because Satan has come in like a lion to see who he can still kill and destroy. And the wages of sin is death. But the only thing that can pull us out of the, snack, the, 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 the claws and the snares of the devil is believing in the Lord Jesus Christ. So the Lord Jesus Christ is the only way, the only the only way to the Father is through Jesus Christ. It says in Acts 4.12, there, and there is a salvation in no one else. Acts 4.12, and there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which to be saved. So that's, again, the only way to, to the Father and to be saved is through Jesus Christ, his Son. Uh, also in John 14, 6, it says, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, the and truth. the life. Yeah. No one comes to the Father except through me. It's, it's a beautiful gift that God has given us. He's given us his only son. And I compare it to this. I met a man recently who was homeless. He had only one leg. He had no food, and he was looking in the garbage dump. And he was, uh, his life has been wrecked by sin and by sorrow and by living in this world that's difficult and hard. And this man is ravaging in the garbage. And I felt the Holy Spirit tell me, I want you to go and help this man. I want you to go and give him money and I want you to buy him some food. And so I, I, I came to this man and I says, I feel that I should help you. Can I help you? Can I buy you something to eat? And his pride and his... Uh, his uh, demons, I think, would not allow him to be helped. And I said, please, I have money for you. Can I give you this? He says, I don't want your money. I don't want your help. And he, he, he left and, and I followed him because I felt the Holy Spirit said, no, I told you to offer him this gift. So I had, I had something to give him. And I said, would you please take this? I know that it would help you and you need it. And this man refused this gift. This man had no leg. He had hardly any clothes. He was ravaging in the garbage. And here's a person that's saying, please take this gift. I know that you need this gift. This will help you. And, and I was hurt in my heart because I thought, why is this man not accepting this gift? I want to give him something that will help his life. It will fill his stomach. I wanted to pay for him to stay in a hotel that evening and I was trying to help him. And he refused. He cussed me out. He screamed at me. He yelled at me because he was full of demons. He was full of the devil. And the devil doesn't want us to receive the free gift of salvation. The devil wants to keep us in bondage, keep us rummaging around in the garbage, uh, not able to receive the free gift of Jesus Christ, who by him we have life and life more abundantly. And so my, my heart's desire is that everyone that hears the sound of my voice understand that there is a free gift that pulls us out of the garbage. If we're rummaging around in the garbage, if, we have, if we're limping because we have one leg because the enemy has come at us and come at us and come at us and we're broken down and we're struggling and we're needing a pickup. And then here we are, here we are. The Holy Spirit comes and says, look, my son, Jesus Christ, a free gift I give to you. There's no strings attached. All you have to do is take and receive the gift that I give you, right? Mm. You just take the gift. It's not, there's no strings attached. You don't have to sing a song or dance or pay me lots of money. There's nothing that you have to do. Just receive the gift. I give you my son, which is eternal life, the hope of all hope, you know, and the salvation. 
And, and some of us are so caught up in our own garbage, looking in the garbage, just stuck in our thing and also have too much pride or too much something, you know, it's the devil. He gets in the mind and he says, oh, it's too good to be true. It's not that simple. You have to do this or that to be saved. But the truth is the way to the father, the way to eternal salvation, the way to come out of the muck and the mire that Satan has caught us in and just trying to destroy our lives, we can get out because there is a free gift. There is somebody chasing us around saying, take this gift. It will help you. Your life will become new. You will be born again. You will have new hope, new salvation in Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And it is a free gift. It is not something that costs a lot of money, although it is the most valuable thing we could ever, ever receive is the is is Jesus Christ, the salvation. There is so many people like this man that I met recently who was stumbling around looking in the garbage, limping. This man had no leg. He had a crutch. He could not walk. And I said, please, I want to help you. It is a gift. It costs nothing, please. And he says, I don't want your trash. I says, this is not trash. I says, I worked hard for this. I want to give this to you. This man cussed me out, called me names, swore at me, said, get away from me. And I thought, oh God, why do you want me to help this man? He's an ugly, angry mad person. And I think he's, you know, got demons or something, but he was, you know, he's not a happy person. And I felt, I felt God in my heart saying, you need to continue to reach out, reach out, reach out, offer him this gift. And I thought, Lord, he doesn't even want the gift. Why am I giving this to him? And I felt the Holy Spirit say in my heart, this is how it is for me. I gave my son on this earth as a gift for all humanity. And it's free. All they have to do is reach out and receive him. And so many of my children that are in the world that I see are in the garbage can. They have no legs. They have no arms. They're running around like blind people chasing things that mean nothing. And I have a free gift of salvation to turn things around in their life if they'll only accept my son, Jesus Christ. Oh. And that's the thing. It's so powerful. I started to weep in my car because I thought, Lord, here I am upset that this homeless man doesn't want my help. But how much more does the father weep because us children on this earth that he created for relationship with him won't receive his son, Jesus Christ in eternal life. It is in his word that no, not one should perish, that he wishes that all would be saved. Wow. But yeah, 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 yeah. And I just, it, it just, I wept. I wept because I thought here I am a woman that's trying to help somebody that doesn't want help. And, and, and the Holy Spirit, you know, in my heart showed me how much more he loves us, how much more he wants to help us. And it's a free gift. It doesn't cost anything, but it will cost everything to, you know, so my, my question today is, is, is are there people that are listening to me today that don't know Jesus? Are there people that don't know the free gift of eternal life? Are there people today that hear the sound of my voice that have no idea who this man is, Jesus? Jesus is the son of God. He came on earth because we were messed up with sin because Satan has come to kill, steal, lie, and destroy. But the Lord God sent his only son from heaven on this earth so that we could be saved, so that we could live in, in and be with him for all eternity. God wants us to be a family, a family of God. The kingdom of heaven is like a large family and he is the father, he is the head. And he knows that we are doomed if we don't accept Jesus Christ. And it is not his will that one will perish. No, not one. It is his it is his will that we are saved and join the family of God. And the way to do that is so simple. It's a free gift. He has sent his Holy Spirit chasing us, saying, take this gift. Take this gift of eternal life. I don't want you to die. I don't want you to live in, in, in heartache and poverty and sickness and running around with a crutch without a leg, eating out of the garbage. That is not God's will for our lives. God's will is to give us life and life more abundantly through Jesus Christ, the son. So I invite you today, I invite anybody listening, please, please take the free gift of salvation. It's so simple. It's so simple. All you have to do is, 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 is ask in your heart, believe in your heart. It says right here, what is the verse? Jesus, Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. It's so, so simple. In Romans 10, 9, in Romans 10, 9, 
It says, this is it right here. Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and you believe it in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you will be saved. There it is, folks. It's so simple. Romans 10, 9. If you believe in your heart, confess with your mouth, and believe that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead, you will be saved. Jesus is the Son of God. He is the only way. He is the only truth, and he is the only life. So if you are lost, broken, if you are walking around like this homeless man with no leg digging in the garbage, needing a place to stay, needing a home, the family of God is large. And God is love. He is, not a, he is not a man that is sitting on the throne ready to beat you with a stick and kick your crutch out. He is the God of love and he is calling his children in. He is calling them. He is chasing them like I chased this homeless man trying to give him money, which is crazy. And I thought, why am I doing this? And, and I felt the Lord speak to my heart. This is what I'm doing. I am chasing my children. Please, please take this gift please take it. I want you to have eternal life. It is not my will. This is God, of course. It is not God's will that we are suffering. It is not God's will that we are sick. It is not God's will. It is the devil's, uh, is the devil's plan because, again, he comes to kill, steal, lie, and destroy. So if you are stuck in the muck, digging through the garbage, that is not God's plan. That is the devil's plan. So repent of your sins, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and be saved. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> And that's what's burning on my heart this morning, Kumar. When I had this experience with this homeless man, I wept because I thought this is what Holy Spirit is doing right now. He is going out and he's chasing children. He is seeing people that are wrecked and their lives are destroyed. They've gone through divorces. They've lost jobs. They are, they are hungry. They, are, they, they need things. There is so much need in this world right now. This world uh, without Jesus is a dark and sad and horrible place. But with Jesus, he is the life. He is the truth. He is the resurrection. And if we call on his name, he promises to save us. And that is my message today, is call on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. Repent of your sins. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no other way to the Father except through Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. That's right. Absolutely right. And agree with you. And in first place, you will see these people attitudes. You know that my uh, friend Chandra here, uh, <clears throat> you know that the, the distance between heart and mouth, you know, our receiving place is heart. Yes. Yes. In the hearing place is ear. Yes. When we preach the gospel. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> gospel is the power of God to save anything in this world. And God is releasing the power, his power, through our mouth when we preach the gospel to the people. But they hear when, you know, the faith comes by hearing about Jesus Christ, okay? Yes. And uh, the heart receiving, you know that the distance is not far, but six and a half inches from here yeah. to here. Yeah. They, they, they lose the heaven within a distance of six and a half inches, not feet, not kilometers, not miles. Right. They are very just, you see, you see that you saw him that was suffering, like Jesus saw uh, that uh, this, uh, this man was laid on the porch uh, over 38 years. But Jesus came and moved with compassion, will thou be saved, he asked yes. him. And you know, he didn't ask him, he didn't ask Jesus to heal him. Uh, uh, to raise him up again or something like that. But you move with God's compassion and God's love. And you said that Holy Spirit, because of the Holy Spirit leading, you right. just went unto him and offered him for his food and uh, something like that. Uh, for some, uh, you know, that you have the money for helping him. And uh, you requested him, you asked him to receive that. And uh, yeah. 
so many people they denied jesus meal you know that mm -hmm. but why the corona came why 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 the pandemic came uh -huh. why the people suffered you know that in pandemic season you all have uh, been partner with us and uh, partner with us to help the poor and feed the poor in india whenever we we reached out the poor people communities in india we gave them the meal this is jesus meal yeah yeah we give them the rice pack rice bags and the vegetables and uh, uh, so many things we we gave and uh, i posted i have posted so many pictures in our timeline and uh, when when i when i gave to them i just told to them this is the jesus meal jesus meal to you and jesus gave me to help you it, it is not my meal to you but it is jesus meal to you and so many people received in the pandemic season Amen. you know that Amen. but this man Something interesting, sorry, Kumar, but what I, I want to be clear to is the pandemic didn't come from God. So many people say, why did God send this plague? Why did God send this coronavirus? I just want to be very clear. It's not God that sent the pandemic. It says in the Bible that the Lord will turn and use those things that Satan meant for evil. He will use it for our good. And I believe Satan is behind it. It's not God's will for it, but God uses even what Satan does in our lives as something that's bad. He can turn it around and use it for something good. So what you're doing, I think God is using a, a terrible thing like the pandemic. God is using it to bring people to him. Yes. yes. And, 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 I, and I preached the same thing in the last well, nine months that the pandemic and corona is not God's plan. Correct. Uh, so, uh, but people suffer for food yes, yes. and uh, people have lost their jobs and uh, so many children and uh, you know that one woman had three daughters mm. and had no meal the three daughters are you know that they are just like her mother just uh, they are grown daughters and uh, they bothered a lot and uh, we when we heard about them we just went and uh, helped them this, this is Jesus and they received gladly you know that mm -hmm. Zacchaeus you know that he was a rich man mm -hmm. uh, he don't need uh, money for, from anyone else you know, the rich people even neglect God uh, they, don't, uh, they don't pay interest to receive God or something like that but Zacchaeus when Jesus called him by name he, he gladly received Jesus mm -hmm. he gladly received Jesus and took him into his house Yes. And so many people walk over there and Jesus, why this man, why Jesus came into this sinner's uh, home or something like that. And, yes. It is a God's plan for him to be saved. And he said that the same chapter, Jesus is only the way yes. to be saved. And yes. you know that he has riches, he has found many ways to be uh, saved, uh, Jacques, but he was he's confessing his sins and uh, wants to give away his uh, uh, goods or something like that to the poor and uh, poor folks back again to if he earns the money by false accusations or something like that. So this is the way that the people have to receive uh, God's son, uh, the son of God, Jesus Christ, our savior, and yes. uh, our deliverer, redeemer, because he is only the ransom. People have to understand. Yes. You, you, you gave you a very good subject. Why he became the only, why he became only the way? Because he died for us. Yes. Yes. When he died, the heaven and the earth became united. Yes. There was a gap between heaven and the earth. Now a door was opened. Now uh, the, the veil between the heaven uh, in, in the temple of God, you know, that the veil has been divided into two parts. Mm -hmm. Now there is no secret in the heaven. We can go into the heaven because Jesus became the way, mm -hmm. became only the way for all the sinners from the earth into the 
uh, uh, to join into the all holy uh, 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 people of God there in the heaven with, with God. And where it says he's the door, he's the door. It's like what you're what you're what you're uh, describing is uh, is right here found where he is the door. What what? Uh, let's see, I've got that verse. Right uh, he is right. the way, and he is the door, and he is the truth. Yes. And, uh, and how become he has the, he is the how he became the door? You know that when he has said his precious bread, when he hung on the cross. That's when right. He, and when he said his precious bread on the cross, That's then. Right. The door was opened in the heaven. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That's good. So we have the door for all of us to yes. receive freely. And uh, you know that Jesus is for our forgiveness, for our salvation, yes. for uh, us to go into the heaven, to join with yes. the Father, the Creator. And it's a free gift. It's a free gift, Kumar. It's a free gift. You know, I think sometimes people make it so complicated that people that are, were not raised in church and people that have never heard the gospel before, sometimes it seems like for them it's such a big thing, like, oh, I can never do that. It's so difficult. But the truth is, is it's not difficult. It's so simple. And if the Holy Spirit touches your heart when you hear about Jesus, you, and you want to receive Jesus, anyone who's listening right now, it's so simple. And in fact, let can we pray the prayer of salvation now so that if anybody who's listening who has not received Jesus could receive Jesus in their heart? I would really like to do that. Sure. I would really before, like to do that. Before we go to prayer within a minute, and uh, I just wanted to tell all the people, and I stand yeah. with you, uh, as, uh, as, as a partner of the kingdom of God in, yes. in your faith agreement, you know, why yes. we should believe Jesus as the only way. Because yes. he died for us. He yes. is the ransom for us. And yes. he, he rose the dead. And yes. he, 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 he overcome the demon, devil. Yes. He overcome the sin, curse. And he overcome yes. the world. And he overcome our um, uh, you know that uh, the five enemies, uh, one of this world. So yes. now he 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 went into the he he has ascended into the heaven. Is he's, yes. he's coming very soon back again before yes. his arrival, or before or, 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 or before you are leaving the earth, uh, mm -hmm. before your death, you must be born again. You must That's receive right. Jesus as your personal savior. And he is the only way, as my sister have spoken today, preached today, the truth. She has to say the truth of the salvation. Jesus is the truth. Jesus is the only way to be yes. saved. Yes, please pray for the people that um, we don't know how many people are going to view this recording, but we believe in faith that this, these words of God, the gospel words, um, will help so many friends, people to be saved freely in Christ. Amen. Amen. Yes, please. Please. Amen. Praise God. So Heavenly Father, we come to you now in the name of Jesus Christ. And also right now, I want to invite anybody who has heard this message today, anybody who doesn't know Jesus, anybody who is living like the homeless man that I saw that is, is, is needing something in their life. You might not have a missing leg. You might not be eating out of the dumpster, but you might have a broken heart. You might have a broken marriage. You might have a need and you think, I... I just can't go on. Why, why is I am in this world? Why am I even here? Well, God put you on this earth at this time and God loves you. He loves you. God loves you so much. And Father God, I pray right now that your Holy Spirit go out and touch any person that's hearing the sound of my voice to touch their heart, Lord God, for them to know your love and your power and your mighty saving grace. And Father, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask that anybody that would like to receive Jesus Christ, pray this pray with me, pray this prayer with me now in Jesus' name. It's so simple to receive Jesus. I ask that you say right now, our Father who art in heaven, Father God, right now I confess with my mouth, like it says in Romans 10:9, I confess with my mouth 
that Jesus Christ came in the flesh. He was born as a baby to Mary, and he lived on this earth, all man and all God, and he was brought on this earth to take on the sin of the world that through Adam and Eve, when they sinned in the garden, that, that you sent your son Jesus to take that upon his shoulders. And Lord, when they crucified him on the cross, he didn't just die, but he took on all the sins of the world for all the humanity, past, present, and future. And Lord, by his stripes, we are healed. By his stripes, we are healed. And Lord, we receive him now. So repeat after me. I believe that Jesus Christ was born. He died on the cross for my sins. Mm -hmm. I repent and I ask for forgiveness of all of my sins. I ask, Lord, that you forgive me. And I receive Jesus Christ into my heart. I believe that he was born. I believe that he died on the cross for me, and I believe that you raised him from the dead on the third day, and that he is now in heaven, seated at the right hand of the Father. And I believe this with my heart, and I confess it with my mouth. And now through faith in Jesus Christ, I am saved. Hallelujah. If you've prayed this prayer, please reach out to Pastor Kumar or myself. And I ask, Father God, that you send your Holy Spirit to, to touch hearts today. It's a free gift, people. It's a free gift. God is calling each person out of sin, out of darkness, out of despair. There is hope. There is freedom. There is a new life in Jesus Christ. I beg of you, take the gift of salvation today. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. Father God, I seal it in, and I ask, Lord God, that whoever needs to heal, hear this and be healed and be saved, that they will, Father God. And we trust you, Lord God. We trust you that you have a plan much greater than what we can ask or think. And we thank you that your son Jesus is coming back to earth again, and he's going to take us home in eternity with heaven where there is no more sadness and no more sorrow and no more death. We thank you, God, for the goodness and the gift that you have given us. It is a gift beyond all gifts, and we freely receive it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. May the love of God and the grace of our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, also the sweet philosophy of the Holy Ghost, shall be abiding with us now, and forever, and ever, and ever, especially to those who who are going to be born again, receive this gospel, believe yes. this gospel, accept Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you for having me on here, Pastor Kumar. I appreciate it. What a blessing. Yeah, what a blessing to India, what a blessing to the others, uh, to the people that those who still did not uh, receive Jesus. And uh, thanks for offering Jesus to them. Amen. Hallelujah. He's offered to me.